Okay, so today we just want to talk about whether you want to go 12, 24, or 48 volts for your system. There's a few obviously advantages and disadvantages which way you go. So um, really you've got to try to understand how it all works first before you then determine which is the best option for you. So really there's a couple of equations you've just got to work out. Um, so you've got your power equation and then your voltage equation. So uh, you've got P equals V times R. So what do these all these numbers mean? So P is just power, so that's power or wattage. So when you look at a solar panel, um, it's always rated in watts or an inverter, you always see the wattage rating. And then um, <clears throat> the equation to work out what voltage and the current that that's gonna draw, depending on the power, is it really just power equals voltage times amps. So P being watts equals your voltage, which is V, so voltage or volts, and then it's times the amps, which is current or amps, that's what I stands for. So really all you would end up doing <clears throat> is just going, so if you've got a 2000 watt inverter, uh, at 12 volts, it would just be 12 divided by 2,000. We'll work out how many amps that that's going to consume. So it's going to consume 166 amps, uh, 12 volt. Same equation if you then went 24, you divide by 24 equals 83.33, and then if you went 48, it's 41.66. So that's how many amps you're going to end up drawing at those voltages. And then just to work out if you wanted to go for your voltage, just to see how much resistance and current it is, just use a bit of Ohm's law. So you got voltage equals current times resistance. So resistance is your ohm. So that's how you work out your volt drop and then current uh, if you know what your resistance is or your voltage. But really we're mainly worried about the actual power one for this one, just to try to determine what you want. So that's how you'll determine the current you're then going to consume from it. And then you're just going to want to decide, all right, do I want to use a 12, 24, or 48? So obviously the higher uh, the amps, the bigger cable you're going to need high fuses you're gonna um, end up using. So if you can reduce it down by going to say a 24 volt system or a 48 volt, it's gonna be a lot more efficient because the thicker cable you use, the more strands of copper you're gonna end up having. And then each individual strand of copper in this actual core gets core losses. So the more strands you have, then the more losses you're gonna get, which means again, the higher cable you're gonna need. So really it just becomes one of those things that the bigger cable you use, then the bigger cable you actually need to get that same amount of like current out of it. So if you can always reduce the cable size by going to a higher voltage, then you're gonna be far more efficient. So that's why anytime we can go to a, say a 48 volt panel um, for solar, we always try to do it because yeah, the just efficiency is just so much greater on a high voltage. So now you've got to kind of determine, all right, do I want to go to a 12 volt system, 24 volt system or 48 volt? 12, 24, they're, they're pretty similar. So I mean, pretty much every component these days will run off 12 or 24. There's not too many um, components that you'll come across that won't be able to do 24 volt or 12 volt. Uh, so most of your lights uh, and all your accessories can pretty much do it. It's really just the inverter you've got to change. And then um, <clears throat> just some of your fuses, sometimes you just need to change them. But apart from that, pretty much most things these days can go 12 or 24. So. I definitely think that if you're doing a uh, auxiliary setup in a canopy or something like that, you definitely probably want to consider a 24 volt system. Uh, the other advantage to 24 over 12 is if you did stay at the same uh, wattage rating, so let's say you got a 2000 watt uh, inverter at 12 volt compared it to a 2000 watt at 24, the 24 is going to be smaller because they, produce, because they produce the same amount of power, uh, but because the amps isn't as high, you don't need as big coils in it which means that you can just reduce the amount of size on it. So if you compare the 12 and 24 side by side, you'll notice that the 24 is slightly smaller, save a bit on weight and a bit on space. Uh, so it's definitely a big advantage there. And then obviously the other big advantage is just all your cables are gonna be so much lower. You're gonna save a bit of money on all your cables and it's just gonna be far easier to install. So if you're looking to install it yourself, it's a lot easier to install a one BNS cable compared to um, say like a zero BNS cable. So that's why if you can, uh, I definitely recommend that. So that's definitely an option that I'm looking at for my canopy is to go 24 volt. It's quite easy to get DC DC charges off a 12 volt system. Uh, most people, uh, especially Victron do it, uh, where you can get a 12 volt input, but then 24 volt output. The only downside to it is they don't um, have as much power on them. So let's say if you did want to get say 100 amps at 24 volt, which is 200 at 12 uh, DC charge, you'd never need that much, but let's say you did, you're gonna need a lot more charges in your system to achieve that compared to a 12 volt system. So like the uh, Orion XS is a 50 amp 12 volt charger. They don't make it in a 24, they only do a 30. Like for like, they're obviously pretty much the same because it's really 60 compared to 50. 
but it d is a slightly slower charge. So if you did for whatever reason decide, oh, I wanted 300 amps at 24 volt compared to you know 412, it's going to take a lot longer to charge off a 30 amp charger compared to a 50. So you might just want to chuck an extra charger in if you want to get quicker charge compared to the 12 volt. But apart from that, I don't really see too many disadvantages to 24. There are a few components that probably would cause dramas with it can't run off 24, but for me, I don't think there's too many things that I'm gonna run off my canopy that won't be able to do 24 volt. So I personally think, yeah, 24 is probably the way to go. Um, 48 would be great um, to run your system off. The only downside to it is, yeah, there is very little components out there that will run off 48 volts. So you're gonna be end up using reducers uh, and converters to be able to try to convert that voltage back down from 48 to 12. By the time you do all that stuff, I mean, you're using power to then convert it back to 12 volt, 24 volt. I just don't really see the point in going to 48 volt to then come back down again. The losses you're gonna get in changing that all out, I don't know, I mean, me personally, I just don't think that the uh, uh, full drive industry is quite um, at 48 volt ready yet, so um, all your uh, components are going to need to be reduced down. So I think, yeah, in theory, it probably sounds good to have a 48 volt system because it is going to be obviously far better for reducing your cable size efficiency and all that. But then you've got to bring it back down again. You're going to get copper losses there. Uh, running extra components that you normally wouldn't have to in a 12 or 24. Probably going to put battery connect, uh, battery protects in just to make sure if you do get a voltage spike, it doesn't hurt any of those 12 or 24 volt um, units. So when you just factor all that stuff in, it's probably gonna end up costing you the same, if not more, to go to a 48 volt system. I just don't really see the advantages there. So I really think 24 is probably the best way to go if you can. <clears throat> Otherwise stick to your 12 volt, but 48, maybe not so much at the moment, is quite ready to do it. But I think for solar, it's definitely a smart move to do because you can bring 48 volts in from your solar panel, go straight to your MPPT, and that'll convert it straight away for you. You've got to put an MPPT in, no matter what you do, whether you're running 24 or 12 volt panels. So I definitely think for solar, 48 volts is the way to go. Uh, to get that efficiency from your panel, it'll pick up that sunlight a lot quicker, and it'll also hang on to it for a lot longer. So the efficiency is, yeah, unbelievable, 48 volt compared to 12 or 24 when it comes to um, solar, but to run your actual full system off it. I'm not 100% sure if it's quite ready yet, but the other um, issue with it as well is you've got to get quite expensive charges um, to try to get that 12 volt income to the 48 volt outlet. When you factor that stuff in, it's just, yeah, it can get a bit expensive, but I mean, if you're keen for 48 volt, it's definitely doable. You just got to add some extra components into it, but they're just really things you've got to try to consider whether you do on 12, 24, or 48 volt system for your auxiliary arm setup. If you'd like any more information or on 12, 24, 48 volt systems, just uh, head to the link in our description and we'll catch you on the next one.